Good morning, everyone. Hadn't visited with you guys in a couple of weeks. Wanted to give you an update today. It's been brutally hot here in Texas. It's been brutally dry here in Texas. Um, had a rough year in the garden and uh, not getting a whole lot out of it, but uh, I'll take you around here in a minute and show you just what's going on. Um, you may recall back in April, we had a couple of freezes and then by the time May rolled around, we were already in the 90s and 100 degree temperatures and the rain has literally stopped here. Still have not gotten any. Um, we have a good chance of it starting on tomorrow night through Wednesday. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we get it because uh, my green beans have pretty much dried up and they're not producing anymore. I've debated on whether or not to pull them up um, or leave them. I think I'm gonna leave them another couple of weeks because if I do get some rain and some cooler temperatures like they're saying this weekend, then I think that uh, I might get a couple more. I was able to can probably about four or five pints last weekend. I've been able to can some pickled beets. I've been able to can some turnips and some carrots and I have some videos coming out on those. Uh, the beets is already out there. My green beans, you can go back and look at the video from last year of me canning. So today, uh, pretty much what I have to do is um, I'm gonna do some pickling. I do have some cucumbers, thank goodness. Uh, those did start to come through, but certainly not as much as last year. This time last year I had probably about, I don't know, I'd already done about 20 pints of green beans or something and maybe 20 pints of pickles and I'm nowhere near that this year. So I'm really, really hoping that we get the cooler temperatures this week and that we get some rain because it's not too late. I still have hope and um, I'm hanging on to that. But um, anyway, let me take you around and show you what's going on and uh, you can tell me what you think. Let's start out with the cabbage. I did get one head of cabbage and I'm gonna try to uh, make some sauerkraut out of this. And uh, this is gonna be a learning process for me. Stay tuned and we'll learn that together. So here we go, guys. Look at my green beans. They are struggling so bad. Um, I did fertilize them last week because they were looking much worse than this. And I'm hoping, again, if we get the rain this week that uh, they're gonna produce. I do see some flowers in there. So maybe, maybe I'll be blessed and uh, get me some green beans going. So let's scoot over here to the tomatoes. Tomatoes in this area seem to be doing pretty good. You can see I've got some on my vines, thank goodness. Um, gotta get in there and cut some of that, that yellow off because we have been watering very heavily and I need to make sure that that uh, mold don't continue on up my plants. We were able to keep our plants going through our first freeze last year and we're able to harvest tomatoes right through October. It did stop in um, July and August in September but they started picking back up tomatillos um, they're here I don't know what they're doing because I don't see a lot going on in there I had a lot of luck last year with them I'm not having a whole heck of a lot of luck with them this year but we're holding out hope to see there's a lot of buds on there and um, again if we get some rain that's gonna be such a blessing and I think I might get a couple of good weeks of harvest let's take a gander at my squash it's starting to die back you can see and I have been coming in here very often at least once a week if not twice a week and pruning it back trying to keep it going and so far I'm still getting some good squash and zucchini out of it so thankful for that um, it's not as big as it was because I have pruned it back trying to keep it going and trying to keep it from uh, sapping you know the water out of the soil but there are some big cracks out there y'all in the ground and um, so I think it looks pretty good considering I have some watermelons going. Um, those tend to be, or seem to be, okay. There's a lot of weeds in there that I'm gonna have to try to get out, but I think I'll get me some good size watermelons. These are the personal size watermelons that I do grow. So hanging on to hope on those as well. I do have some ears of corn coming up. I'm not gonna have very many, but I think maybe I'll have enough to can a couple of pints. So this year is not gonna be my traditional canning. I'm not gonna have all the green beans and all the pickles that I normally do, but I did offset it with the beets and the turnips and the carrots, and I will with the corn as well. Taking a look at my cucumbers, I do have some on the vine. I picked some last week as well, and I've been saving them to try to uh, can them all at once. And these are starting to pick up. They are looking much better than they did. But I'm telling you guys, it's been a struggle this year. It's been a really big struggle to try to keep everything going with the late freezes and then the early heat. And here are my sunflowers. They are looking quite lovely. I'm excited about these. They're beautiful. 
Um, I'm hoping to harvest some of my sunflower seeds from these, but uh, they you know, are drought tolerant, so they're doing real good right now. My raised bed of peppers, they are starting to produce. Um, our bell peppers and our jalapenos produced until October last year, so I still have four good months of these growing if I can keep them going. Um, I did fertilize them as well, and I think that that's what spurred on this growth and the, the nice green foliage. And so I'm hoping uh, that these start to really take off. I'm keeping them watered. Um, if we do get rain this week, I think that they will take off better as well. I'm gonna have to put, get in there and do some trellising so that they don't break because we are still having the very high winds, which is not helping the dryness out here because it is drying up so terribly bad. I'm gonna take you out and show you some of the ground. And this guys is what my ground looks like out here. It's really, really hard to keep that garden growing when the ground around it is like this because it just really saps any of the uh, moisture that I'm putting in the garden. My goodness, Lord, we need some rain. You guys pray for us. Look at this. Here's the pomegranate tree. Look, it seems to be thriving. It, it likes this heat. I am having to water it uh, at least once a week. But I think I'm gonna have me some really pretty pomegranates. And the bush has gotten, or the tree has gotten really quite huge. It's probably about, I don't know, 10, 12 feet tall. So here's a look at the garden as it is this morning. I've been up since 6 a.m. working in it. Pulled up all my lettuces, all the turnip remains. Got it all tilled up. It may not look too bad to you guys, but I, I tell you what, I'm certainly um, a little discouraged about it this year, but we're going to keep on going. So in closing, people, it's been tough, but we're going to keep on going. I am going to uh, try to plant in the fall. As soon as everything is gone, I will till it up and I'll get my soil ready, but I still got some time. But look at that corn back there. It's burning up, just burning up like crazy. It started out really good, but uh, I don't think it's gonna make it. This will probably be used for either the, I don't know, the fuel that they make out of it or feed, but um, it's brutal. I'm looking at the clouds up here. I'm hoping that uh, that means that we're gonna get some rain like we're expecting. It's a little cooler this morning. It's been nice. We've had a, a strong south breeze, but um, we're struggling. Anyway, I'm interested to see how you guys are doing. Let me know. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, we ask that you subscribe to our channel and uh, that you pray for us, that we get some rain and we get some cooler temperatures. We desperately need them. And uh, take care. God bless and have a wonderful weekend and happy Father's Day to those of you that are fathers. What a blessing you all are. Take care.